Today I'm going to get Mandy done so you can see the process from start to finish. I know Mandy can be a little intimidating at first. It can take a long time, sometimes hours, to complete. But the results are definitely worth it. You're left with beautiful, intricate designs swirling out on your palms. It all starts with the paste made out of leaves. The paste comes in a little cone, just like cake icing, and you apply it by squeezing thin lines into patterns and letting them dry. While the menthi is drying, you could squeeze a mixture of lemon juice and sugar on the paste or hold your hands over cloves on a hot pan. Both of these are said to make the menthi turn darker. And you want that because rumor has it the darker your menthi comes out, the more your partner will love you. You'll want to let your menthi dry for as long as possible, at least a couple hours if you can, because the longer the paste stays on, the more saturated the designs will be. But this can take some time. When my cousin got married, she actually slept with her arms in trash bags so that the menthi could set overnight. Once it's fully dry, you can scrape it off gently with a dull butter knife or by briskly rubbing your hands together. You'll see bright orange-red designs left behind by the paste. Overnight, these will darken into a deep red and they'll last for about four or five days before starting to fade. That's why you sometimes hear menthi called temporary tattoos. The symbols used in menthi designs are beautiful, but they're also chosen for a reason. As you can see on my hands, I have a paisley, which represents fertility and good luck, a peacock, known for its beauty and splendor, which hints at a colorful life ahead, and then there's Ganesha, the elephant-headed deity who in Hindu mythology is the remover of obstacles. He's often honored at the beginning of long journeys, like marriages. And at traditional Indian weddings, it's customary for the men, the artist, to hide the couple's names in each other's designs for them to find on their wedding night. Now that it's been about 24 hours, I've taken off the dried mendi and you can see exactly what's left behind. The same patterns, but in a deep, rusty color. I love how this came out. When I look down at my hand, the mendi reminds me of celebration, joy, and tradition.